There are three main measures that we can use for our data in SPSS including nominal, ordinal and scale. Let's try to understand each type of measure with an example. Let's say you opened a new store where you sell groceries and wanted to evaluate the perception of customers in your new store. So you decide to collect data and record different variables representing the characteristics of your customers. You record the variables including gender, level of satisfaction with services, and time spent shopping. The different types of variables would have different measures when entering the data in SPSS. I'm using IBM SPSS version 26. So when I go to the dataset window, what I'll do is I'll go to the variable view. So as to indicate the different variables of the customers that we evaluate for our new grocery store. When conducting some research of our customers in our new grocery store, we will examine different variables. One of the first variables that we will examine in our new grocery store is gender. So gender is a variable. Type numeric because we are going to give it some codes for each gender, either male or female. Let's ignore the wind area. Decimals, let's put zero. So the label is male or female customers for our new grocery store. Now, values, we can enter values to represent each gender. One for male and two for female. So value one, I label it as male. Let's add. And two, I label it for female and we press enter. So one represents male and two represents female. Now missing, we have no missing data. We ignore that for now. Columns, we ignore that. We align, we ignore that. So let's look at the measure, which is what we are focusing on right now. So what's the measure for gender in SPSS? The measure for gender is the nominal measure. A nominal measure is a measure of data existing in name only. Therefore, nominal data cannot be ordered and cannot be measured. There is no way we can measure the degree of gender in our participants. We can only classify them in a category of either male or female. So, nominal variables can be categorized in either a specific group or the other. Now, we can consider the second variable in our example, which is the level of satisfaction of our customers with services. Level of satisfaction. Remember when you're entering the different variables in SPSS, there are rules you should follow for the names of variables. One, do not use a special character, such as hash or a number at the beginning of the name. Two, do not leave spaces between names. Use underscore to bridge the spaces. Again, the type of variable for that data is numeric width we ignore decimals we put zero now for the label we can ask this question to the customers to determine the level of satisfaction with our services are you satisfied with our services so one very satisfied two satisfied three indifferent four dissatisfied now we can use the different codes for our data, so level of satisfaction of customers, that's the label we'll assign that. Now for the values, we can enter different codes. We said one, to represent very satisfied, two, to represent satisfied, three, to represent indifferent, four, to represent dissatisfied, and finally, five, to represent very dissatisfied. So that's a kind of a Likert scale and that's how we code the different data of the variable of level of satisfaction. We add that. Again, let's ignore the missing, the columns and align and come to measure, which is our main focus for this video. So such kind of data, such as the different options provided in a Likert scale, such as in the question of the level of satisfaction of customers with our new grocery store is ordinal. Ordinal data, is data that is categorical where the variables have natural ordered categories and the distances between the categories are not known so ordinal for ordered data for example we have one very satisfied and five very dissatisfied with two satisfied three indifferent four dissatisfied and five very dissatisfied so that's an example of an ordinal measure let's look at that type of measure in spss which is for our next variable we can decide to evaluate the time that customers spent shopping 
again this is a numeric variable wind we ignore decimals our time that will not have decimals again we highlight that this is the time that each customer spent shopping that's the label for that variable here are the values we leave it at none because time will have a measure again missing we leave it columns we ignore a line we ignore let's come to the measure section for time we'll use a scale measure a scale measure is a graduated series or scheme of rank or order so a scale is a standardized measurement with a real zero point. For example, for the time spent shopping for our different customers in our grocery store, a customer can spend a second shopping, a minute or an hour. So again, a customer can spend no time shopping in our store. So that's zero, zero seconds or zero minutes. So for time, it's a scale with a real zero point. We can measure the time spent shopping in either seconds, minutes, or even hours. So that's a scale measure, which is that type of measure in SPSS. I hope you found some value in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for other helpful videos like this in the future.